the like button and press subscribe. Thank you. Hi, right, today we're going to look at a very difficult subject, bar chords. Well, they're difficult when you're first starting off. I remember that I had to practice this day after day after day after day. So it's good if you can pick your guitar up every day and have a quick go and do it slowly and methodically and we'll get there. Now you'll see on the screen at the moment there's a complete fretboard but I've only labelled the notes on the first two strings, the E string which is the thickest and the A string which is the next thickest. Now these pertain to different shapes that you're going to make with your bar chords. Now with this hand, I'm only going to use, instead of using these three to make an E, which you know is this. Okay, I'm going to keep my index finger free and make the E shape with the rest of my fingers. Okay? Now if you look at the chart, if you look at the fifth fret, I'm going to start up here because it's easier. Uh, if you look at the fifth fret, the thickest string, that says A. Right? So the thickest string pertains to this shape, E. So if we come all the way up to the fifth string, I'm on the 6th fret here, sorry, not string, fret. And put my index finger across the 5th fret. Across the 5th fret, see? Make the E shape. We get A. Same as A here. And you've probably worked it out quicker than me. As long as you keep this pattern in this shape, if you look at that chart, you'll get that chord as long as you're in this shape. So for instance, if I get if I put this index finger down to one, two, you look at that note, it says G. We all know this is G here, don't we? Okay. So, this has just opened up the whole fretboard for you. If you know this note here, which is on the 10th fret, you'll see that it's D. So let's go up there. Same shape, E shape with your fingers. That's D. D down here. Get the idea? Okay, now let's look at the A string. This is, I found, very difficult to start with, but we'll have a look. We'll go up to the fifth string here on the A. Sorry, we'll go up to the fifth fret on the A string. And that note you'll find is D. So for this, we use the A shape. 5th fret, D. Now we don't normally use these three fingers to do this. We normally just use this finger to bar those three strings. Okay? Look at this very closely. This will take you a long time. Because you've got to get calluses here so that it sounds properly, okay? And you've got to do each string, pluck each string individually. Until you get them all ringing out perfect. And the hardest one is these, these here. Because obviously you're going to make your finger go like that. 
bend it down, especially that last one. Don't you agree, Bruce? Yes. So, you've got to be very careful. I want that note. I want that note. Now, notwithstanding, now we know the shape for the second string. We can go and say, do this note here, which is a C. If we do that shape here, we've got a C. Okay? And if you want to go right up the fretboard, you can see that this string here is a G. Oh, sorry, this string here is a G. Okay. Now, sometimes we cheat with the shape and we just play the top strings and we don't bother with these end strings. should have opened up the entire fretboard for you for chords. So you can play chords now in quite a few different positions. For instance, C, we play it here. We can play it here. And we can play it here. enough for you to get on with for a long long time but we will do some songs I'll put some songs up here that are easy to play but we'll use bar chords now obviously one of the hardest bar chords to play is the F because your fingers won't stretch and you'll be pressing like God Almighty to start with persevere you'll get there I know a lot of guitarists I'll just have a drink of tea here for a minute I know a lot of guitarists cheat when it comes to bar chords and they um, wrap their thumb over to play the bass notes now you can do that unless you've got a short thumb like me which makes it very hard so now playing the E shape with these fingers, okay, this index finger is barring, if you like, the two, two ones here, the two uh, thinnest strings, and the thumb comes over and plays the bass. Now because I've got a short thumb, I find that very hard to get a nice I find that very difficult. I suppose that's why they do it, because their finger is already there for some lead, I suppose. I suppose that's why they do it, but to be honest, with my short thumb, I can't do it. And in this lesson anyway, we're going to do the full bar. Practice just with that finger. And at first, you'll be pressing like you want your thumb, which is in the middle on the back. You want your thumb to go right through the guitar. So you'll be pressing with a, a you know, 20,000 pound pressure try and get that but as you do it more and this becomes a little bit more callousy 
you'll find that you don't have to press hardly at all. I'm not even using my thumb. So you will get to that stage, but it'll take a lot of practice. Okay, I'm going to leave it here for bar chords. That's all you really need to know for the minute. Um, we'll teach you uh, minor stuff and things in a different lesson. But those are major chords, and those are the two positions, the E, and you're doing them with these fingers, the E and the A, the A shape, and you're doing that with your ring finger, okay? All right, bye for now.